everybody, AdCat Tech here, and today we have the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing and review of this, just uh, to give you my impressions of it. So let's get right ahead with the unboxing. Like I said, we got this on a Slick Deals deal. Instruction manual. A quick get cooking guide and an opportunity to double your warranty. So let's see what's in the box. So initially, when I saw this, like I said, I had no idea what the Rapid Egg Cooker was about. And of course, in the picture, it looks much bigger than it actually is. So let's take a look. Here is the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. Let's open this up. And take a look. You can also do omelets and other stuff with, with, with this, but when you see the size, you're like, hmm. You got a warning, your eggs, egg devil will not rust. Well, that's good. I'm telling you this won't rust. Little plastic tray, which your eggs are going to sit on here. We open up this stuff as well. I think is a little omelet tray. So let's put it through the paces. I honestly have no idea how to use this or how it's going to work, but um, let's put it through the paces. We'll take some video and we'll let you know what we think. So I'm going to do a couple of demos here. We're going to do hard boiled eggs. I'm going to do the poached eggs. I'm not going to do a video on the omelet probably because it's just not that useful. Um, so to get started with the poached eggs, you're going to take the tray, you're going to insert the little um, pickup tool right in the middle. The great thing about it lets it fold down really easily. Um, you're going to fill, you're going to take the water thing and fill it based on the level you need. Um, one side's for omelets and poached eggs, and then the other side is for uh, soft boiled eggs, medium boiled eggs, and hard boiled eggs. I'm going to fill it with water. We're going to put the water in. The water evaporates, and it's going to um, shut off automatically. You're going to hear that loud buzz. My only main issue with this dash egg cooker is how loud it is, the equivalent loud of almost a uh, smoke detector. So on the bottom of the water tool, there's a little um, pin there so you can actually make a small hole on the bottom of your eggs. When you make soft boiled or hard boiled eggs, you're going to want to do that. And we're going to put the eggs in. And I'm going to do this a couple times again. Just take the bottom of the egg into that little needle and you're going to put it right through. Again, just click right in the bottom there, very convenient. There is a plastic cap, you put the plastic cap on and you're done. Um, so you're not going to prick your finger. I'm going to do, I'm going to put the top on, we're going to plug it in. You notice the blue light comes on and we're ready to go. I usually set a timer based on what I want to do, depending if it's soft, medium, or hard. Um, you don't need to set a timer um, because it will shut off automatically based on the amount of water. So if you go by their guide, you'll learn as you use it that sometimes you need a little more water or a little less water, depending upon how many eggs. And then if you want them fully hard-boiled or slightly medium-boiled, depending, up, again, how you want your eggs to uh, come out. So I'm going to get a close-up here. Again, if you don't want to watch this cook, you can skip to the end of the video where you can see our final thoughts and review. But if you were interested in the process of making the eggs, then this is keep uh, watching. So you can see the water builds up. It's evaporating. Just in preparing you now, the buzzer is going to go off. This is the one negative, or I can see why it's so loud, but get ready. Here it comes. And the buzzer is really loud. So you're going to want to turn it off. At this point, we're going to take the eggs out. I usually put them into ice water to cool them down immediately. And again, depending upon um, how you're cooking them, you're going to want to cool them down quickly so they don't continue to cook. So I'm going to take them out, being careful, of course, because they're going to be hot, um, and immediately put them into some ice water. nice thing about this is it has the tray, so you can essentially lift up the tray and dump them right into the ice water. So I'm going to do that quickly. I let them sit in the ice water anywhere from uh, five to eight minutes. 
when you're done, when they've sat for the amount of time you wanted them to stop cooking, you can basically going to take them out, you're going to crack the shell off, and then you're going to basically put them, you can eat them, or do whatever you're going to want to do with them at that point. So now I'm going to go over poached eggs. Again, if you don't want to watch this, just skip to the review portion of the video. Um, I used to have a tray that went in the microwave, and this is really the main reason I got the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. Um, so I have my um, poached egg tray. I have a little olive oil. I usually coat the bottom with a little olive oil. And now I'm going to fill the water cup to the poached egg side um, omelets. It's the right amount. Again, if you want your eggs cooked, poached eggs cooked a little more, you can add a little more water or a little less depending upon how you want your poached eggs. After the first couple of times, you get a pretty good idea of how much water you need. So again, I just dab, rub a little olive oil so when the eggs are done cooking, it makes it easier for them to come out. Basically, we're going to crack open the eggs um, onto both sides of the um, poached egg tray. Again, being careful not to break the yolks. So I'm going to do this quickly and carefully. There's one egg. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to crack one more egg. Again, be careful not to break the yolk. Again, I used to have a tray for the microwave, and this is a much easier way, and they come out a lot better. Um, I feel this way. Put them over some toast and on an English muffin, however you like. Again, we're going to plug it in, turn it on, and again, it's going to heat up, and based on the amount of water you use, when it evaporates, it's going to be done, and that loud buzzer will go off. Um, so I'm just going to let it fog up a few, and then to save you the trouble of watching this cook, um, I'm going to get a close-up, and then I'm going to speed forward. You can see the water starting to build up that's evaporating. And get ready, the buzzer is about to go off. And there it is. Man, that buzzer is loud and it's really yeah, it's ready. Like my son crazy because um, it can really jolt you. So let me open up the top. Again, you're going to want to be careful when you take it out. Obviously, you can see from the steam it's very hot in there. Um, and I actually have some toast ready. So we're going to put the poached eggs right on top of the toast. Take the top. Again, be careful not to burn yourself. Going to use a fork and I'm just going to go around the edges. The olive oil makes it pretty easy to get out of there. And I'm just going to lay it in there. These are a little runny. Probably used a, should have used a spoon for this, but that's okay. Put the second one there. That's what they look like. And let me just cut into one. You can see how it's oozing out. Again, you can adjust the time how you want to do it. So if you want a more well done or less, you can do that as well. So I'm just going to show you quick how to make the omelet. I'm not going to really delve into it. You take the omelet tray, you could put a little olive oil on it. You're going to fill the water cup to where it is, says uh, omelet poached egg side. Again, you can do a little more water or a little less water depending upon how you want it cooked. And again, as I mentioned before, um, you'll actually be able to know as you go after you've used it a few times, you have a pretty good idea of if you like how you like your eggs and how they're cooking. I scrambled up the eggs in advance, so I'm going to put the tray there. On top, I poured the water in. We're going to put the eggs in. The only negative of the egg omelet tray is that it's small. So if you want something with your omelets, it's not really going to cook up in your traditional omelet sense, where you can use this maybe to make an egg sandwich or something like that. I'm going to cover it, plug it in, and turn the... Um, power on and we're going to let it go until we hear that loud annoying beep and again I'm going to speed this up for you um, just a little bit so you don't have to watch it cook over time and we're going to wait for the beep now forward in time um, so get ready for the beep and there it is it's annoying and it's loud but that's it we're going to take the top off you can see the eggs uh, puff up a little um, but it's pretty straightforward and very simple to make an omelet in this as well. I just wanted to give you my quick review of the Dash Rapid Egg Cooker. been using it now for about three weeks. Um, we really like it. A um, couple of, a lot of positives, one or two negatives. Uh, just to go through the negatives first, the buzzer, when the buzzer goes off, this thing sounds like a smoke detector. It's really, really loud. I can understand why they do it because it is a heating tray. It's going to boil your water on the tray on the bottom. Um, so it's going to be loud because I think they want you to obviously unplug it and turn it off when it's done cooking. 
but the buzzer is really loud. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, the other negative, which is not a major negative, they guarantee it will not rust, which is a positive, but the tray does get, the bottom does get a little uh, dirty. You can see this is from three weeks of usage. Um, there are some spots or stains on part. I don't know if you can see that in the video. So again, that is not a major negative. The only other big negative in my part, it is a small, you can do uh, six hard boiled eggs, two poached eggs with the poached egg tray, which as I showed you in the video, the omelet tray is very small, um, almost to the point where it's totally useless. Um, I made one or two omelets. I was going to show you the omelet making, but the omelets, you really can't do cheese. I like to put other things in the omelets and it doesn't really work out. To my liking, I like to cook an omelet, so I'm actually not going to use this at all for making omelets. But for poached eggs and hard-boiled eggs, it works really well. Poached eggs come out great. It takes about six, six and a half minutes or so. Again, depending upon how you like your poached eggs, you can add a little more water or a little less water uh, once you start using it to determine if you want the poached eggs cooked more or less. Hard-boiled eggs take anywhere. Um, again, you can do one or six eggs at a time. Um, and it'll take anywhere depending upon if you want to do soft boiled or medium boiled or hard boiled anywhere from 7 to 16 minutes for the six eggs. Um, so again, that's really my other major negative is just the omelet tray, which is small, but it's a small unit. Again, when I ordered this, I got this on a deal um, from Slick Deals and I didn't really realize how small it was going to be from the picture. It was a deal. It looked good. I wanted a better way to make poached eggs than just putting the other tray in the microwave and then they just come out okay. Um, so again, for your hard-boiled egg, this piece is going to attach through the bottom. So it's actually a lift-up tray, and then it's going to sit, and then you're going to actually cover it like this. So that's how you're going to make your uh, hard-boiled eggs. Again, you take this off when you want to make poached eggs, or if you want to use the omelet tray. And this sits right on top when you make that. Um, you also get your water cup, which is really useful. So it's going to show you omelet and poached egg water levels. So this is the water that you're going to put in. Again, it's heat, makes its own heat, and this is for the hard-boiled or soft-boiled eggs. Again, as you go, you learn what you like and how much water, if you need a little extra or a little less to put in. On the bottom of the water, you'll see the pin for when... Let me just get my face out of there. You'll see the pin for when you make hard boiled eggs. See, that's where you puncture the eggs with. It's very convenient so it's not another piece to lose. I mean, it works out well. Like I said, it puts the water in. It knows when to shut off automatically. It essentially has its own shut off. Because again, it's got a sensor that once the water is boiled off, based on the amount of water, it's going to beep, again, really loud. Um, and then it's going to shut itself off. Um, at that point, so you don't really have to worry about it, but I, once it goes off, you want to shut it off because it's really annoying. So do I recommend this? Absolutely yes. Not so much for the omelets, but definitely for the poached eggs and the hard-boiled eggs. It makes both really well, and it's very simple. Again, a positive or a negative, depending, is how small it is, so you can actually put everything in the tray. Everything fits in nicely, so when you want to store it away, you just do the top and everything can store away inside. Just put it in your cabinets. When you're ready to take it out, everything is here, which works out really well. They guarantee that it will never rust, like I said. Um, so definitely um, a great product. I've been enjoying it. I actually was going to wanted to show you what we used to use in the microwave, but I think my wife has already thrown it out because we've actually gotten really used to this. Again, I wish at times I could make four um, at a time, four poached eggs. Um, but again, not a major issue. So I definitely recommend it. Uh, wait for it on to go on sale though, if you're going to get it, unless you're really looking for it. Cause again, it's, it's, it is a little pricey for $25, but for the, you know, nine to $15 where you can usually get it on a deal on Amazon, it's definitely um, worth it at that price. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did give it a, th a thumbs up, a like, uh, be sure to subscribe as well. We have a lot of great videos, cooking, technology, a lot of great stuff coming, so be sure to subscribe. And uh, that's it. Any questions you might have, please put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.